Hey guys, it's Jules here, and today I'm going to be doing a Volturi from Eclipse inspired smokey eye. And this is the one that Dakota Fanning wears throughout the movie. And also, if you couldn't tell... Oh my god! Ah! Oh, didn't focus. Someone got their nose pierced. That was me. Um, I'm going to make a separate video about that. But here we go. we got to get started because this is kind of a complicated look. And I'm not one of those lucky people who get to do longer than 10 minute videos. So let's start with a big blending brush and a white color. This is probably the whitest color I have. This is from the BH88 Colors collection. And let me zoom in. So since these vampire people, I don't really follow the book. I didn't read the book. I didn't even see the second movie. But anyways, what I gather from this movie is that these vampire people are very white because apparently they like don't have a heart or something oh my god I can just feel the Eclipse fangirls like getting really pissed at me already but whatever doing your makeup video um so just make this whole area as white as you can all the way up to the eyebrow anyways um, I'm going to take the charcoal from the Styla Stila palette onto just a small blending brush and I'm going to start in the middle of my eye and kind of go on a diagonal out in kind of like a curved pattern and then you're going to want to straighten that out. So we're going to have to blend this a lot because it's a dark color and so you can just bring this out past the crease just a little bit. So you kind of want to make a slanted line this is our middle color so we're gonna use all this space see how this one only has a little bit of white we're gonna be using all this space to blend out these dark colors so we're gonna just put this charcoal here and then we're going to bring it down on that bottom lash line only halfway across though and so next we are going to even that shape a little bit. Next we're going to take a really dark black. It's hard to distinguish the colors because they're all really dark but I think I did a pretty good job. You have like the charcoal, the dark black, and then a little bit of the blue. Um, you kind of want to make it seem like you didn't just put a black blob on your face. So I'm taking high intensity pigments like a metallic shadow duo. This silver is intense, but we'll, we'll use that another day. Um, so I'm just using this black and just use that same brush and just kind of put that right next to it and start to blend it with the gray. You don't have to blend it perfectly, but just start. And then you can put a little bit on the bottom, but just leave a little space at the end. That's where we're going to connect the blue. Okay, so now that we've got these two blended like pretty much together, we're going to start bringing this charcoal out and blending the charcoal. That black kind of helps bring the pigment over. And if you need to use more charcoal, feel free. You just don't want to go too far over because trust me, I did that and I had to restart because once you put dark onto white, it's just not going to go back easily. And then kind of bring this into the crease, make a nice crease shape. And see, it's a really harsh line right now, but we're going to deal with that white to black blend in a sec. Alright, so now we're going to wipe off that same brush. And we're going to take, this is like a coverall, little crappy drugstore palette. Uh, I noticed I don't have any navy blues that are like really nice, so we're using this one. This is called Eye Enhancements. Clearly I don't have blue eyes, but I don't know why I bought this. Anyways, glad I did. Take that same brush, 
take this navy color right here and we are just going to put that right next to the black and we just have to blend this in cover basically cover the black because we can always go back and put more black in but this blue is a little bit lighter and we're going to smudge this on the bottom to create kind of a winged shape so like a nice shape with our eyeshadow some crazy drivers are driving outside my house right now and so basically you can bring this blue all the way over into the crease so it kind of gives it that dark look all right and so now we're just gonna go back with our black go back with the black I'm a poet and I don't know it I bet I'm really obnoxious when I'm in a hurry and we're just gonna put that black put some more and just blend it in all right and now we're gonna take that same blending brush we used with the white dip it in that white again and blend out this inner corner because we don't want that to be a big line right there and blend out the shape as well so you just have that nice blended shape But since our color decided not to come over as much as my other one did, we're going to wipe off that brush, go back to our charcoal. We are going to manually start blending this closer, just a little bit. Just so that you have that nice kind of blended look. And then we are going to go back to our white and blend it away and there we go I'm just gonna pop on some eyeliner and mascara and we will be good to go looking like a Volturi they were some scary ass bitches I tell you in that movie I was not prepared for that I was like oh look they look so cute and then oh snap I just got some gel eyeliner on the waterline because I left my favorite Styla Kajal eyeliner at my friend's house. F my life. Here's my angled brush. Couldn't find it. Um, we're just going to take this high intensity pigment, same thing we used on the waterline, and just make a simple line across. And now we just, uh, I'm going to blend it out a bit. Whew. Now we're just going to pop on some mascara. I'm just going to use Maybelline Volume Express. A few coats on the top. New coats on the bottom. And there you go. Looking like a Volturi. <laughs> Scary, but I quite like it. Hope this helped you guys. I gotta go because we're out of time, but thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye, love you.